yo yes sir man we live and we back welcome welcome back to the golden goose liner review show i am your host chandler blakely aka goose man here today y'all know what we doing man going over yesterday's lineups looking at our best lineups from the slate yesterday seeing what we did right what we did wrong whether well, there was maybe a leak in our game plan and just uh, reviewing how we did. So that's what we got pulled up for y'all, man. Be sure, man, if you just not tuning in, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button, man. Turn your notification bell on, man. That's the only way you're going to get the state of the slate address. We're doing it again today, man. Just rewarding the subscribers and the people who got that notification bell on, man. You never know what it's going to be. I could go live. I maybe a video drop right before an hour before the slate. So... The only way you're going to probably see it in time if is if you're subscribed and if you have your notification bell on, all right? So we just rewarding the subscribers right now, man. The people who actually take time out to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, have a notification bell on. Make sure you tune in. You will get that state of the slate address this evening, all right? We going live for y'all once again, or it could be a video. Like I said, you just never know, depending on how we feeling. But you definitely want to be subscribed so you know when it's all going down, all right? Got my best lineup pulled up on DraftKings, uh, 298.75 right here. Pretty much 299. This was the $40 single entry. We just fell outside of the money. The cash line was 303 over here. So uh, this is my best line. If you caught the state of the slate uh, address, you know how we was we was attacking the Pelicans' uh, value and just trying to get different around there. So. That's how we ended up with this lineup. Devontae Graham at the top 63% on. Let us down here 26. But I knew he was going to be so high on that we could possibly get in the cash line with or without him. I didn't want to miss out on him putting up another solid game at his 6,100. Uh, but like I said, he failed us right here. Only gave us 26 uh, DK points. Needed a little much from him, man. Halliburton, one of the guys who sunk my lineup. You see the lineup, man. Halliburton, 20. I'm surprised he was at 20, right at 22%. I thought he'd come in a little cheaper than this, but it, I was so upset here, man. We got, we got everything we wanted. We got the high scoring close game. It was the high scoring game on the slate. We got everything we wanted except for the performance from Halliburton. He played 40 minutes, man. They only lost by. If you caught the state of the slate address, I told you that I thought this game could be closer and Halliburton could have a lot to do with it, man. But, uh,. He played 40 minutes. He just didn't give us the production that we want. I just knew he was in for 50-plus here, man. He only gave us 45. A nice little double-double here, man. Man, I expected a bigger game from him. But 25 real-life points, 10 assists, a steal, two rebounds. Solid effort from Halliburton. But uh, the way this game shaped out, 131 to 128, man, I just knew it was a 50, 60-point performance from him. If we had a guy that, that definitely would have pushed us towards the top. Like I said, he came in a little higher on than I thought. I didn't think he'd be at 22%. I thought he'd be more down like 15, low teens area. But uh, 22%, he did okay for us at 9K right here. Najib Marshall, no need to even explain. Uh, just to take advantage of the value play. I told y'all uh, <clears throat> Graham and Hayes were my favorite two plays from the Pelicans game. Uh, Hayes definitely got there, fifty-two percent on. Marshall got there as well at sixty-eight percent on. A lot of those Pelicans got there. Uh, Graham, the he didn't get there super crazy, but he still was solid enough. Uh, Alvarado put up a monster value. Chunis put up a big game. A lot of these Pelicans got there. I told you he was gonna need at least two of them. So. I had three in this lineup, Marshall and Hayes, both of them getting up 37, 35 points respectively. Then I wanted to run it back with the Houston guy, man. I went to center Christian Woods. He came in a beautiful ownership right here, under uh, right at 8% on at 7,900. I thought he could jump back out here and give us a nice game. He always in line for a double-double. The problem here is, man, the blowout. They just handled Houston easily. Uh, Wood only played 26 minutes, man, gave us 30 DK points. If, if he gets his normal 36-minute, 35-minute run if the game is closer, he definitely pushes this total closer to 50 along the lines we was expecting. But can't do nothing about it here, man. Blowout. We wanted to run back since we had so many Pelicans, guys, just in case the game was better and closer than we thought. We was wrong right here in this spot with Christian Wood. 
Coming in at the guard, man. Devin Booker got him at fifty percent. Liked him as well. If you if you saw the live stream before lock, man, you know we got some questions about Booker over Halliburton. I said on FanDuel definitely Halliburton because of the price. Uh, on DK, I told you I didn't have your problem going with either one. I said I'd probably put both of them in my lineup, and that's what I did here with Halliburton and Booker. I liked both of those plays. Got Booker at fifty percent as he led the uh, Suns to a win over the Lakers. Nice double double here from uh, Booker with 30 points, 10 assists, doing a couple rebounds and four steals. So 58 point performance from Devin Booker, very nice. And my forward, I, that's why I try to get a little different at down here. When Isaiah Jackson, eight percent on in this Indiana Atlanta game, just getting another piece of it in case that in case the Indiana, <coughs> pardon me. In case Indiana held up that side of it, which they did, got him at 8% on. He gave us 38 DK points, a solid effort from Isaiah Jackson right there. And then finishing out at the bottom, when Okungwu, we've seen, this, uh, we've seen this situation play out before with no John Collins over there in Atlanta. You, we know Okungwu likes to sneak in there for a couple of minutes, so we wanted to roll the dice with him here with no Collins over here, especially playing Indiana with a couple of not necessarily huge guys out there, but some bigger, a bigger front court. We thought he could sneak into some minutes. We was right here. Got him at 12% on. He gave us 29 DK points at 3,200. Nice performance from Okungwu. But there you have it, man. My best lineup on DK, 290, well, 299 pretty much. Just failed three points shy of money over here in the $40 single entry, all right? Now let's go take a look at Fan Duel and see what we did over there, man. Uh, if you made it this far in the video and hadn't hit the subscribe button, Go ahead and do that, man. You're missing out, I'm telling you, all right? All right, and definitely hit that like button, man. Let's go. Everybody hit the like button. All right, looking at, oh, my bad, my bad. We didn't look at the winning lineup on DK, man. Let me go back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We got Teddy G0213 with the winning lineup. Put up 360, basically, right here. Got Alvarado with a play of the slate at 3,900, man. He put up a monster game, 48. He got him at 7% on. Definitely got different with Dwayne Washington Jr. here. Nigel Marshall, of course. He went Taylor from the Pacers and Hayes and Valanchunas. Basically, the gist of what I said, man. You had to have two or three Pelicans. He went four Pelicans in this lineup. And like I said, so many of them went off yesterday. So many of them had monster performances. Yeah, four. You could have got to four. He went four here. Straight Houston stack. It worked out with a, a little a low on him bead here. And a low on Alvarado from the Pelican side. So, man, nice build from him right here. And hey, congrats to Teddy G0213, man. Nice lineup. All right, let's go look at FanDuel. FanDuel, my best lineup, 352, man. Just did a couple of lineups in the nickel contest over here. Like I said, man, I've been really just back focusing on one or two lineups. So that's where uh, that's where my strength lies. When we when we just doing one or two lineups and focusing on them heavy, that's when we build better lineups. So that's what we've been doing, especially on DK. FanDuel, just, uh, like I said, just playing lighter in, in some of the smaller tournaments over here. But 352, like I said, we had Trey Young at the top. Gave us a 60 burger on, over here on FanDuel at 49% on. Tyrese Halliburton, once again, 40 piece. Wanted more from him. Had Devontae Graham right here as well. 27 DK points at 56% on. Snuck in Markel Fultz right here, man. Hey, just roll the dice. I, ne I needed another value play for what I was trying to fit in over here. So we just rolled the dice with Markel folks, man. He's been seeing about 18 to 20 minutes and playing very solidly. So I just threw him out here. He had a solid game for us at level percent, 32 fantasy points right here. We'll definitely take that. Went back to the well with my boy LeBron James, man. He was solid, just not, just didn't give us enough compared to the other superstars, man. Only 47 DK points from, I mean, FanDuel points at 38% on. And my other small four, went, went, went Darius Baisley here, man. Uh, 48 FanDuel points would end up being a nice play for him, man. He had a big double-double, got him right here 11% on in this matchup. Very nice. Uh, at the power four, went Gallinari. Probably got a little too cute, a little too sneaky. Like I said, once Collins are ruled out, I, I like Gallinari. I like Capella. I knew they could sneak into a few more minutes. Uh, got Gallinari here at 6% on, man. He gave us 28 fan duel points. Okay outing from him right here in this spot. Uh, we'll definitely take that production from him. 
And my pound for Jackson Hayes, my favorite Pelican, across both sides yesterday. 52% on. He gave us 36 uh, fan duel points. And then finish out the lineup right here. Click Capella, man. Uh, 16% on. He gave us 34 points right here. As you can see, this kind of turned into an uh, Indiana uh, Atlanta stack right here. As I had three guys from the Hawks here and ran it back with Halliburton just like I said, I got the game I wanted. I just didn't get the production pieces I was right, man. I, I got the game I expected from Atlanta, Indiana. This could have been another big day for us, but just didn't quite get the pieces right. So, But that let us know we're on the right track, man. We're we, 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 we making the right decision, even though it's not panning out right now or it didn't pan out in this moment. So that's what you want, man. You want to be on the right track, on the right path, see that you're making positions, regardless of whether the guy got hurt and didn't work out for you. If you had that chance and you was in the right spots, that, that, that lets you know you're in a good groove, man. So we we right there right now. We want to stay there. We're going to continue it up. Like I said, man, make sure you subscribe. Oh, let me see. I keep forgetting to see the winning line of the day, man. C. Pirello, 425. Let's see what he did. A couple of Pelicans, I can guarantee. He had Trey, Jose Alvarado, Shea Gildas, Alexander. Nice stack up at the guard pay up options. <laughs> Najee Marshall Hayes. Yep, man. Like I said, guys, like I said, if you caught the state of the slate, man, you'll know what we said. We saw it clearly, man. We told you we, you needed two or three Pelicans and try to get different around it. As you can see, that's most of the guys' bills that want it. All right? But there you have it, man. That's a line of review, man. Listen, hit the subscribe button. I'm telling you. Hit the notification bell on so you can be on the inside track whenever that state of the slate video drops or the live stream or whatever it is, man. You want to be subscribed so you can know when that comes. It might be an hour before lock, maybe 30 minutes, maybe two hours. Who knows? But the only way you going to know is if you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, man. That's going to do it for us here today. Y'all know the motto, man. Chances make champions. Y'all green up. I'm going to see y'all later today, all right? Let's go.